Morning, Raz. This is Braden from Pacific Toyota here in Cairns. Just doing a quick video tour at 2021 uh, Toyota Yaris Cross. The GXL sitting here in front of me, mate. Only 33,990 drive away. Currently on sale. Absolutely awesome car. Um, I understand you are down south, so I thought I'd do a little video, make it a bit easier on uh, yourself and the and the wife as well. Make sure you guys are happy with it. Uh, obviously, a little bit away, so I thought, like I said, uh, we are Pacific Toyota here in Cairns, as I mentioned, and uh, we are <laughs> currently at 235 Mulgrave Road. Uh, we're lucky enough to have two massive big yards up here, so um, we've got another one up at 77 Mulgrave Road as well. Uh, currently launching a couple cars at the front there as well, so it's been a busy morning already. And um, as you can see, we're literally jam-packed. Uh, you can even see our Toyota Lexus showrooms up the hill there as well. And of course our service departments and uh, everything down the back there as well. That's all ours. So we're literally jam-packed. We're going to get some absolutely awesome cars just like this Yaris Cross here in front of me. Uh, so the whole idea of this video is just basically so I can take you through any little marks or scratches or anything like that, as honest as we possibly can, give you a really good look through the whole thing. And like I said, it's currently on sale for uh, only $33,990 drive away, making it one of the cheapest uh, in Queensland as it sits. So very tidy through here. Um, we obviously did get some pretty hectic rain over the last couple of days, so there's just a little bit of sort of... Um, I did give it a chamois in that, but it's just a little bit of dust from, from that rain overnight. But this thing is incredibly well looked after. Now this one, you can obviously see in the uh, mirrors, I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera, but that's there's a Toyota certified uh, sticker hanging through the, the mirror in there. I'll show you a little bit more about it and have you talk a bit more over the phone. But basically that means you get an additional 12 months factory warranty through Toyota because of how well this thing has been looked after. Now you've got little, obviously, your parking sensors across the front here. All your cameras, everything like that as well. So you get 12 months roadside assistance. And like I said, an additional 12 months factory warranty just because this thing has been well looked after. Now I did kick these wheels out for you too, so you can see the treads on there. Uh, very tidy to the inside. Like I said, that's just a little bit dirt because obviously we've had some pretty hectic rain. And of course get them re-professionally really detailed before we send them down to you as well. But very tidy through the front. Sort of actually struggling. It's just a little tiny. I reckon that'd probably nearly come off. Yeah, that's just coming off with my finger. Of course, two keys with this one. One is still literally in the bag itself. Obviously, brand new car, so was a private owner here in Cairns. Um, so central locking on that one works. And that one as well. So of course these little mirrors pop out uh, to indicate whether the car's locked or not. Stacks of tread left on these guys. Very excited to the inside there as well. And as you can see on the mirrors, we got that little blind spot uh, notification there as well. So anyone in your blind spots, they're gonna illuminate, they're gonna let you know. Uh, now these little two tabs here, that's actually gonna lock the car. So as you can see, that tucks them in, that's now locked now for us. Now they got a proximity, so as soon as we go away and come back, we got the sensors on the inside of these handles, and that's now unlocked for you too. So you can keep these in your bags if you've got kids or anything like that, trying to multitask or anything like that. It means you can just keep the keys nice and safe in your pocket, in your bag, whatever the case is. Uh, central lock in the whole way around, of course, and the genuine Yaris Cross mats through here as well. And this did go on a test drive yesterday, so apologies for a little bit of dirt, but like I said, we uh, do get them professionally detailed before they go again. Uh, we also got the dash mat at the top there as well. So all this stuff, all the factory stuff we just leave in the car for you. So I'm very tidy through the inside here of course as well. Got the little bill plates in that there too for you too. So very clean through the inside here. Uh, in fact, while we're here, I'll just quickly show you the service history. So like I said, you got the Toyota service advantage. So basically cap price servicing for these guys. So it should be 20, 22, uh, 3, 24, 25, 26, and 27. You'll still have that. And like I said, the Toyota certified pre-owned warranty. So you get that additional. So you have the balance of the factory five-year warranty. And then of course, just because this one's been looked after, uh, we can then certify it through Toyota. So not maybe, uh, no one else can really do this. And uh, we can give you that additional Toyota 12 months warranty on this one as well. So uh, only the one service, 2022 in August at uh, 13,000 kilometers, 700 Pacific Toyota, that's us. So not you again. And you can see until 28,000 or um, August 2023. So I'll pop that back in there. All your books, everything's all on the inside there too. Show across the roof there as well. Like I said, a little bit of water up there. I just couldn't reach the middle with the chamois. Now those windows, they're not actually tinted. They're just privacy glass. So we can actually do all your window tinting and everything in house here as well before we send it down. Very tidy through the inside here. Got the child locks, of course, on both these rear doors. Electric windows the whole way around there too. And like I said, we've got these floor mats the whole way around. Now 60-40 split with these guys. So you've got a little handle at the top there. So you can drop these down. That's This is the 60% side, that's the 40. So I might have to move that uh, seat forward a little bit. But these will actually drop down. And as you can see, we've got the child anchor points on the back. So one, two, three, as we go across there. I do have this right back though, because I was sitting in there before. But those will go completely flat for you. 
uh, super tidy across the back there as well. We've got a fuel inlet just on this uh, side here too. I'll show you where the release is for that once we jump inside. Very clean to the actual alloys. And again, absolutely stacks of tread left in there too. Uh, rear parking sensors right across the back here as well. One, two, three, and four. And of course, a little camera tucked up the back there as well. So uh, super clean through the inside here. You got that little, obviously the softer mat here as well. So if you put stuff in here, it's not going to damage it. You don't have those hard ones sort of blocking the amount of space you can use. And like I said, we've got one, two, three child anchor points through the back here as well. So plenty of storage under these guys. All these obviously come out as well. So if you, I like them because if you're on the side of the road, trying to change a tire or do anything like that, you've got a nice hard platform that you can put on the ground next year and you can work off as well. So we've got these over here, Let's get these out of the road. And of course, brand new tire, jack tools, everything all under there as well. Place. That's it. So very clean through the inside here. Little tiny hooks and stuff like that, good for groceries and those sort of things. Not good for a lot of weight, but the groceries are certainly plenty enough. Um, as we come down the side here, looking very clean again. Honestly, I'm struggling to actually find anything to point out for you. Little tiny sort of just hairline sort of marks just there in the plastic. It's just come off with my finger. Just never mind. And you can, I'm not sure if you can see it in the sun, but it's obviously got that, um, the pearl flake on these guys and they just look so good in the, in the sunlight. Such a good colour. Again, very tidy through the inside here with these door cards. Tiny little scuff just there, I'd say someone sort of caught this shoe jumping in and out. But that's about it. And the ISO fixes are all through the bottom here too. Super clean through the inside as well. Exactly what you'd expect of a car with these sort of Ks. And like I said, that keyless entry on both sides. Same with that, um, the blind spot monitoring there as well. Maybe a little stone chip just there, tiny little stone chip just there. But incredibly clean otherwise. So finally just the uh, driver's side door here too. Just a little bit, of tiny bit of this little scuff there. And again, those fitted mats the whole way around. So the fuel release is just there, that's gonna pop out on the passenger side. A little height adjustment here, so short people like me, you can sit there and crank that all the way down, all the way back up. A little tiny bit of sort of fade just on that actual uh, cloth in there, but not too good. Uh, electric window, central locking, all your window controls here too, and of course your mirror adjustments there as well, and that little toggle, so it's in the left side of the car, right side of the car. And then we've got a little automatic adjustment there too. So once the car's running, they'll actually fold those windows in. So if we jump in, I'll just actually show you. So you've got to have your foot on the brake, push this little button to start the car as long as the keys are inside the car it'll work. Alright, so your little display down the bottom. So the only lights of course are just the handbrake at the top there, that little P. And the, um, I'm obviously not wearing a seatbelt, so the uh, little seatbelt indicated in the bottom there as well. So, man, only 17,691 kilometres, absolutely bugger all kilometres. Um, this thing is pretty much brand new, uh, incredibly well looked after. Um, you've got a massive sort of infotainment uh, setup and, and controls in the bottom here, all operated from the steering wheel itself. So anything you want to use basically down there is all operated from this passenger side. So while you're driving, your thumbs can do all the work. It's real nice and easy. So using these little ones to navigate and those to go up and down and obviously select what you want to do. So we can go to between all your different safety settings, so all the little sensors, everything like that. Uh, you can adjust and turn on and off, lane departure, you name it. And as soon as we go back, Then we can jump between obviously music, whatever's on the stations. Again, the lane departures and everything like that. You can operate the controls through there as well. Uh, as we go back, all your eco modes, all your any uh, notice, notifications, everything you need to know is all operated through these guys. And you can go between all these little sub menus and everything in each, each one, change between audios, all that sort of stuff, uh, all through that main little display down there. I think it's just fantastic. So, revs are all up on the left side. Obviously, what gear you're in as well. Nice big letters there as well to make it nice and easy. Um, nearly a full tank of fuel in here for you already, which is great. And of course, your digital speed up on the right hand side there too. Um, cruise control options are all on the right hand side here too. So, you can obviously lane departure there too. You can adjust the sensitivity of that. And of course, your adaptive cruise control there as well. So, basically, you're driving along on the cruise control. Anybody in front of you uh, slams on the brakes, the car will actually brake for you. And then as soon as they accelerate, the car will continue to accelerate under the cruise control. So it just about drives for you, it just won't steer. Um, but of course, it's always keep your hands on the steering wheel, of course. Uh, we do have the little shifters down the bottom here, so the plus side and the minus on this left-hand side here. So this goes up the gears, that one goes down. So if we put it into drive, for example. Oh, 
across to the manual. There we go. So we now got manual one showing up on the left hand side there. Now it's a pretty clever system. It's not going to let me take out off out of um, first gear because that would be bad for the engine. So, but as you're driving, these little shifters here will go up gears and down the gears, and you focus on it from down there. A little shifter down the bottom here. So we've got the manual. So same thing. We can do the same thing from down there, going up the gears and down the gears. Otherwise, normal drive, which is where that just sort of falls into naturally. Normal drive there. D up on the screen, that's going to do everything for you, normal automatics. It's only if you want to do the manual shifting yourself. Um, up on the right-hand side here, so all your headlights are automatic. Parkers, headlights, high beams, blinkers are all like normal, but if you set it to automatic, they are light sensitive and the headlights will turn on because they need to. Um, you do have a high, uh, automatic setting for the high beam down the bottom here too. And of course, we've got a little adjustment. So because we've got the cameras under the mirrors at the front and the back as well, we've got that 360 view. So if you push that little button there, it's going to bring this little screen up for you as well. So as soon as we go into reverse, this exact same screen is going to come up as well. We've got all these little guidelines showing you the direction of travel of where you're heading. Uh, you've got that one at the front, so if you come into a garage wall or another car or anything like that, you can see exactly the uh, way that you're going to travel. And same thing, so as I turn these steering wheels, you can see that's going to pick up everything around us and show you the way that we're traveling again. So fantastic uh, camera setup on these guys. I absolutely love it. So once we go back into park and we jump out of those cameras, this little home button is going to bring you to this little uh, preset every single time. So we've got the favourites. We've got one, two, and three favourites here. So we can jump straight into the navigation or any of those just by pushing uh, on them and it'll bring it to full screen. Same with the radio or of course if your phone's connected, you can do that one too. So all your little stations down the bottom there. Uh, if we jump into the source side of things, we can go to AM, FM, Bluetooth, uh, all that sort of stuff from the top there as well. So really nice and easy, nice big button so that while you're driving, uh, you don't have to get playing around with those too much. The only other one you're really going to use probably is just this apps button over here or the menu one sorry uh, which will bring you to this so again you can jump straight into the sat nav straight into the audio side of things your phone the apps all the, um, all the settings everything as well so it's pretty much these two main buttons you're going to use all the time hazard lights are down the bottom there aircon controls in the bottom so fan speeds on the left temperatures on the right and of course where you want them coming out of uh, usb down the bottom again so charging your phones those sort of things accessory plug down the bottom uh, like i said once you go down to reverse that will um, kick into those cameras and everything as well uh, drive modes down here so as you can see at the top at we have a little power button down, that's currently under the bottom. We have eco and then off uh, standard as well. So power is great for overtaking people, highways, that sort of thing. And of course, eco is just normal driving. Uh, we do have the electric handbrake. So as soon as we go into drive, uh, that one will turn off. That's your handbrake there. As soon as we put it back into park, that's going to re-engage for you too, as long as you get your foot on the brake. Uh, plenty of cup holders in the bottom. Plenty of storage all through there as well. We got the drop-down handles uh, on the front, guys, and then we got the uh, the hooks up the back there as well. So if you want to put, you know, shirts. Um, anything like that, suits, you name it, dresses, whatever. You can hook them from the, the roof there too. Um, seat belts down the bottom there, of course. And incredibly tidy through the inside here as well. Nothing on that one. We've got the mirror over this side here. But super tidy through the inside here. Um, I did want to quickly show you under the bonnet before we finish up. Try and wrap this up for you. So we've got the back, that bonnet popped. So that is beeping, just let me know. I've got the keys in my pocket. And you just forgot to turn the engine off. A beautiful little motor or cylinder, of course. All your little um, your fluid checks and everything through there. And of course, your battery on the side here, too. Probably well looked after. So, thank you again, Raz, for your inquiry, mate. Cannot wait to hear your feedback soon.